Yeah, welcome to the Ink and Thinking Reaction Show. Right now, we're going to be talking about a tattoo, explaining everything, how I do it. So at the end of this video, if you like what you see, please comment, like, and subscribe. I'm setting up my station with this plastic wrap that you can get from uh, Home Depot. I'm making sure we don't get no water spills on the tray or on the floor to prevent any cross-contamination from occurring. I also pull out a bib that helps a lot, especially whenever I'm dipping my inks in my uh, ink cup. It helps with the water getting everywhere on the tray. I don't have the color part eventually, I will, but uh, right now this is what I have so far because uh, my GoPro died on me while I was recording, so I just went with the flow after that. So yeah, pull out the popsicle stick. These you can get off of Amazon, get them on a bundle, I can't remember the price, so don't quote me on it. Um, then I uh, notice I don't got no aquaphor. So uh, this is my little uh, area back here, the supply room. We keep all our uh, stuff in there, our needles, our aquaphor, razors, popsicle sticks, etc., etc. This is an off-brand aquaphor you can get off of Amazon. It actually works a little better. You can read the reviews and check it out yourself. You don't have to put that much on. Yeah, just put it right there. Remember, please subscribe to the channel. It'll help the channel grow and hit the algorithms that it needs. Right here, I'm using my large ink caps, doing it the old traditional way with the popsicle sticks, making sure I get my ink cap set up for my dark outline, my dark gray wash, medium, light, and extra light gray wash. Here, what I'm using is my outline ink. Um, it's called Panthera. Works really, really good. I uh, switched from Dynamic and then Dynamic Triple Black, and then now I'm using this brand. Really good. They're from Italy. I have no issues with them. Their tattoos heal so good. Yeah, the best stuff out. Okay, now for my gray wash, I really mess with Empire. They're really, really good quality inks. I start off with my dark, medium, light, and extra light. Right now I'm filling it up with my dark and I go all the way down. So this is a little trick right here that I learned when I was getting my apprenticeship back in the day. Um, you can just rip open the sandwich bags from the sides and you can use it for your green, green soap. Pulling out my cups. Of course, you know, we're using distilled water. You gotta have that. All right, now these are my babies. I'm a rotary pen man. I love uh, these ever since I converted from coils to the pens. They have been amazing. I have no complaints, no issues whatsoever. Now for my stencil solution, I am using Stuck, so it's one of my favorite out right now too. When you put the stencil on, make sure that you place the stencil on right. Follow the hand shape, the hand direction that it goes, and just slap it on there. I usually print about four different stencils, so in case I don't get this one right, I don't have to keep going back and forth to the printing machine. It makes it more convenient. Okay, let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, and that baby ain't going nowhere. Excuse the sound quality on this next part. It was recorded with a potato wireless microphone. All right, check it out. This is how I set up my station. Right now I'm gonna be using the Prime Critical. And then on the other one, I'm gonna be using my uh, Acus M1 out in Germany. For the needles, I'm using the Easy Needles and the Ink Inkin. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with for the liner since it's a traditional tattoo, uh, 18 round liner bug pen, and then my uh, 11 mag and 19 mag. I might not use the 19 mag. We'll see how it goes, but I uh, just have it for backup. But yeah, we're ready. Let's do this. my outline I just got to make sure that I'm staying to beat make sure that I'm going with the same voltage as my machine if I go fast I usually turn it up but right now I'm at a smooth uh, tempo going about 
95 miles per hour. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my God. So as I'm doing my outline, I'm just making sure every line is crisp. You don't want to mess no line up because you'll be able to tell after. But on this video, it's hard to tell. But normally, I'm taking my time, never rushing. Because when you do it like that, you're never going to get better if you always rush. For my smooth, clean lines, I technically just hold my breath in, breathe out slowly, and then just keep it going. Every line. If you guys have other techniques out there, let's see what you got. Feel free to drop me a comment and share with me. Because we break bread together over here. So through this process, I'm just doing the same thing, making sure every line counts, clean, consistent. Now you can see when I'm wiping, I'm not wiping too hard. I want that stencil to stay on the skin really good. And if, you know, something like that does happen where you are wiping, you're just, you know, in your zone and you forget, it's fine. Just make sure you have your reference right there next to you. I usually keep an iPad and um, my uh, reference is right there in front of me. So I'm just constantly just looking at it when my stencil does fade. Because it happens sometimes when you're tattooing. The thing about that is it just makes time go by a little slower because you're constantly looking up, looking down, you know, because most of the time these people want their tattoo to look exactly how it looks on the photo. So, but you do have clients that just want you to do your thing because I don't have to keep looking up and down. I just do my thing and, you know. Mass Needles is what I'm using. I really, really like them. I try so many different brands out there. I'm not saying any names, but I've used a lot of name brands. And I somehow keep coming back to these needles. The price is right, quality is good. I'm not complaining. Now you can see my armrest. I bought this from Amazon. Um, I think I paid like $250 or $300. Man, you gotta get you one, it's worth it. Try it out, this will be your favorite armrest. You won't go back, I promise you that. And if you're still watching this, please subscribe. It helps the channel grow. It'll push the algorithm so it can help this channel get out there more. Please comment, like, and show some love. You know, because we are putting a lot of time in these videos. It, it's not easy. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So if you're watching this video and you're a tattoo artist or soon-to-be tattoo artist, what kind of artist are you going to be? Or what kind of artist are you? One thing that I notice is buying very good equipment really helps out a lot. So I'm always looking for better equipment out there that's going to help me work better. Remember the rule is don't work hard, work smart. I recommend doing your research before you buy something because you might be spending $800 on a machine that's not even worth it. There's always good machines out there. You just got to make sure you do your research and read the reviews. Trust me, before I buy something, I'm always doing my research. You can buy something that's $800, but then you can find something that's $800 that's worth at least $15,000, $2,000 worth. I'm telling you, it's always best to do your research. So I know I got this video on the time lapse. I preferably like the real time, but um, I've had a couple of people tell me that my videos were long, but now I'm thinking about going back to real time. I feel like you can feel the tattoo video a little bit more. Meanwhile, it's the same thing, just moving a little faster, but leave me a comment, should I do real time or keep it going with the time lapse? The 
you can see what I'm doing right here. I'm uh, stretching the skin out. The hands are tricky. I always tell my clients, if you're gonna put a tattoo in your hand, be careful, because it does tend to fade in that area. Rule number one, don't pick at it when it's healing. Don't scratch it. Avoid all those things, and keep it moist two to three times a day for a good two weeks. And also, when you're taking a shower, be careful with the water hitting it. Water's gonna hit it, that's fine, but try to avoid it as much as possible and you'll be G-double-O-D good. Bruh. And for healing your tattoo, I recommend Aquaphor. But the best thing out there, uh, there's something called Hustle Butter. You can pick that up on uh, Amazon or eBay or even go to the website. Really good stuff, good product. I'd say no to Vaseline and A&D. There's better stuff out there now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys get into this video. Enjoy it, I'm gonna turn up the music. If you have any questions, make sure you drop a comment and I'll get back to you. And thank you for tapping in with me.
barging in from the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wake the neighbors up. Break you in, then break you out. In the end, we gon' make a chop. Then we gon' hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pause. Get, get real misty, we gon' get tipsy on it.
dodging them. Got my heart no barging in from the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wake the neighbors up. Break you in, then break you out. In the end, we gon' make a chop. Then we gon' hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pause. Get, get real misty, we gon' get tipsy on it.